You pressed it, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Hello. Okay. All right, we're good. Okay, let me quickly go over some of these dresses. This particular dress ties in the middle, set in the 1950s type of style, very flowy, very feminine. This dress I found at Charm and Charlie's. It's supposed to be off the shoulder, but I really didn't want to show off my shoulders because I want to remain modest. So I put them up above the shoulders and it has a little bit of a winged flap at the top. Very cool, very light and refreshing. This dress I found at a Goodwill store actually, a GW Boutique, 1950s, belted it in the middle, flares out at the sleeves just a bit and then flares out at the bottom just a little bit. It's a little big on me, but I needed to belt it to make it work. This dress I found at the beach. It's full lace with a cami underneath, um, sort of a slip. The, the sleeves are very flared and I just love it. This dress right here is set in the 1950s. I found it at GW Boutique as well. Very floral. Now you can tell I like to belt a lot of my pieces because they kind of lay on me a little straight, but this one right here is very professional-like, very long and buttoned from top to bottom. Now this one I bought online at a store that was really built on making dresses and clothing that were United States based. Um, and it has a little bit of lace around the neck and around the sleeves. This particular dress was very long, I had to have it hemmed, but it's very puffy at the top, very comfortable, feels like a gown, but a young African uh, college student was selling these and I bought one from her. This one right here I got at Ross, only $10, so you can find a lot of good things at Ross's. Same as this dress. Now this dress is very unique because in the back you can see it's V'd and it has a little tie on it. And um, I hope you enjoy these videos. Don't forget to click and subscribe.